Good morning. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my daily May marketing boot camp. So happy to have you here always. And if you're just connecting me with me for the first time, my name is Amy Yamada, and I am here to help you to deeply connect with yourself, your vision, and your ideal clients so that you can create the impact and the income that you've always desired. So this has been such a fun training and uh, I've been getting a lot of really positive feedback. Some people have actually applied some of the elements that I've been teaching and have had a result of higher paying clients come through the doors as well as feeling confident in valuing themselves more to charge more. Uh, so it's been really exciting to hear some of the feedback I've received from people who have already been implementing what we've been going through in this process. And uh, if you've been following me from the beginning, you know that I've been taking you through my own create connect offer system. And this week is all about connection. So it's the favorite, like my favorite part. I say that and then I know once I go into offer, I'll be like, this is my favorite part. And here's the thing, at the heart of everything, I know it's all about the power of deep connection. So of course, I love, love, love everything that I teach and that I share with you because it's been so fun for me to use the system in my own journey. I mean, I created it without realizing I was creating something. So that might be an aha moment for some of you like, hmm, what is my system or what have I done to get to where I am now? And how can I reverse engineer that? So just know that sometimes when you're going through the journey of your own, like overcoming of obstacles and figuring things out, like sometimes when you're in it, it feels like, ah, oh, I'm stressed out or I'm trying to figure things out. And on the other side of it, you can look back and be grateful for the journey, be grateful for the stretch and realize that you've, you've created a step-by-step -step process and then you can take out all the things that were holding you back um, and then really be of service to people who are also wanting to go through that kind of a journey. So just, just know that wherever you are in the process, I invite you to honor where you are and honor the stretch that you're in. If you're in a stretch right now and know that there's always resistance that can come up throughout this journey. So no matter where you are in your journey, it's like, it's so funny to me when I, when I talk to people who are, you know, that have eight figure businesses. And I'm just like, wow, you're so amazing. <laughs> and, and they share with me their vulnerabilities. And they're just like, yeah, I'm creating this new thing. And I'm kind of scared. Like, what if it doesn't work out? Like, the same shit comes up. Excuse my language, but I'm just going to say it, right? It's the same shit comes up. And it's like, oh, got it. So it's not that it goes away as you grow. It's that, in my opinion, it's that we get to shift and just trust ourselves. Like, just fully trust that we have what it takes to make it happen. And that's something that I've definitely been... Uh, doing over the years like sometimes people ask like how have you gotten to this point in your journey or how have you gotten to a point where you just never give up and to me like from the beginning giving up was never an option like I just made a commitment from the very beginning of launching my business that this is something I've been dreaming of for a while now and why not just go for it full on play full out have fun with it have my stretchy moments you know which I certainly have and know that even those stretchy moments are here on purpose and I get to learn from them so so it's funny how there are times when I even recognize in my own journey, like where I feel like I want to jump ahead, you know, like, oh, I wish I were, you know, at this point. And then I realize all the lessons that I would miss out on if I jumped ahead to that point. And even just really celebrating once I've overcome those things and been able to take myself on. So I just invite you to really just take a deep breath with me. Oh, it feels so good and honor where you are because every day counts, every moment counts, every connection counts. And um, yeah, just really know that every single part of this is part of the journey. So today I'm really excited to talk about Facebook Lives, right? I mean, here we are, I'm on a Facebook Live. I know some of you may be watching the replay or be watching this on YouTube or my blog. Uh, and it started with a Facebook Live. So. We're talking about Facebook Lives and creating content. Now, I want to be very clear that for, it was, I think it was about a year or so that one of my colleagues, her name's Devney, some of you may know Devney Freeman. Um, we, we've known each other for, gosh, nine plus years now. And um, she's amazing with, with social media and creating online challenges. In fact, I believe her birthday's tomorrow, so I'm giving her a little shout out. Um, all that being said, for about a year or more, she kept saying to me, Amy, you've really got to be on video, like YouTube. And then once Facebook Live launched, she was like, you've got to be on YouTube. You got to be on Facebook Lives, just video, 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 like some form of video, just do it. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I kept saying it and I kept putting it off, like procrastinating, procrastinating. And I realized now looking back, 
I was in my own stuff, right? I was in my own resistance thinking, okay, well, I have to have this, 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 and this fit. Like I need to have the right lighting. I need to have like a, a fancy studio, which by the way, look, I'm in my home office, right? Not a fancy studio. I need to have equipment. I need this, this, this. I need to make sure that my content, like I thought I needed to have everything perfect instead of simply starting and learning as I go. Now, for some of you, you already have this like thing coming up like, I can't, it needs to be perfect. I do understand I'm a recovering perfectionist. And I realized that if I wait all this time to have every single thing lined up, that's me making it about me. And that means I'm not in service to the audience that I serve, right? So there, while you're in perfectionism, if that's any of you, then know that there are people that you could help right now and there are even clients that are like, I'm looking for somebody to help me with X, Y, and Z. They're here right now. So instead of getting caught up in perfectionism, just know that it's okay to start. Just start. Put yourself out there and know that you're also gaining practice by just doing the very thing that you've been resisting. This is me projecting, by the way. So thanks for listening. Because <laughs> for a long time, I was so in resistance and I was afraid to really start putting myself out there on video. Um, so finally, finally, I just said, okay, I made a decision with both the combination of Debbie recommending it, my team just like, Amy, we really think this would be something powerful for you. I was like, okay, okay. So I, I simply made a decision. I made a decision that I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it consistently. I'm going to let go of perfectionism. Um, I'm going to learn as I go and I'm going to figure it out. And I'm so glad. So, so today is all about how to create a, a, like more engagement through your Facebook lives, have a plan and also attract your best clients through this wonderful platform. So, and I also feel like while there, are, there may, it may seem like a lot of people are doing Facebook lives, I don't feel like it's a saturated market. I feel like it's, it's something that's going to keep growing. In fact, at my mastermind, uh, Jess Jacobson is part of the powerhouse community and she is really, um, she's an expert when it comes to social media, Instagram, Facebook. She's like, Facebook lives are just going to keep growing. So if you haven't jumped on the Facebook live train and created your own platform with it, I invite you and encourage you to just do it. <laughs> Nike said about just do it. Okay. So I'm going to give you some steps that you can take. And this is something that even at my recent mastermind event, I had each of my powerhouse entrepreneurs make a decision and make a commitment if it was in alignment with them, right? I'm not here to force anyone to do anything. There's one person in my group that isn't fully aligned and he's doing a different strategy that still is about creating content and putting himself out there. So if you've been wanting to do Facebook Lives, then here are the steps that I took that you can take to make a decision, make a commitment, take action, right? One of my mantras, decide, commit, take action. DCA, decide, commit, act, right? So number one, <laughs> number one, is to select a consistent date and time. Now, when I finally made this decision, I didn't say, okay, I'm gonna start two months from now. It was, I'm starting this Thursday, you know what I mean? So if you put it off, it's easy to let yourself off the hook and keep putting it off. So you get to decide, I invi I'm inviting you to decide what date are you going to start and what is going to be your consistent date and time that you are committing to showing up on Facebook Live. So, you know, most of the year I do my weekly chat with Amy that, that's on Thursdays at 9 a.m. Pacific. That's a time that works for me and it's a time that may or may not work for my ideal clients, but I, it's a time that I know that if I'm consistent with it, the people who really want to show up will show up for the content I provide, okay? And then a couple of times a year, I bump it up. So during the holidays, some of, some of you were with me during the holidays when I do my holidayly show. And so similar to this, it's, it's weekdays at 9 a.m. Pacific from Thanksgiving till Christmas. And that really bumped things up. And then I went back to weekly and then I decided to do this May marketing bootcamp. So I do recommend that at the least amount of frequency doing a weekly show, because if you do it monthly or twice a month, I mean, imagine if you had a favorite TV show and imagine that we didn't have, you know, so this is back in the day, right? DVR, a way to record it, Netflix, all these things. Imagine that it was a live broadcast. And if you wanted to have a show, like imagine if your favorite show only came on once a month. Like you might even forget when it was coming up or if it was one day it was at this time and then two weeks later it was at this time, people just won't make it a priority because they don't know when they can count on you. So another benefit of this is having consistent date and time and frequency is that people will know that you are reliable and that you can count on them or that they, they can count on you to show up during that time to provide that great content, okay? So number one, pick the date and time, just start, <laughs> pick the date and time and what consistency. So is it once a week, twice a week, three times a week, 
you know, is it weekdays, whatever it is, just make a decision and be honest with yourself. Like if daily does not work for you, then don't do it. I mean, it is a commitment. You're creating content. You're putting yourself out there on a daily basis. So you get to decide what works for you and what doesn't work for you and just start. So even if you start with once a week, just start. And then sometimes what can come up for people is like, yeah, but I always think about yeah, buts, right? Yeah, but Amy, what if I, I have this two week vacation to Italy in July and I'm not going to be on live? That's okay. Find somebody to be a guest trainer. Find somebody to be a guest trainer. So for example, tomorrow morning, I'm going to be flying to Florida and I will not be accessible to Facebook Live. So I have an awesome guest trainer coming in tomorrow morning who's also gonna help you with another form of connection who is amazing so you don't wanna miss it. Her name's Jackie Cote. She's all about helping you to connect in with the media. So just so, you, just so you know that, it's really powerful, okay? So that's number one, select a consistent date and time. Number two, prepare, 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 okay? I didn't always prepare. I used to just have an idea, I would go live, I would clean off my desk and just suddenly be like, okay, I'm gonna talk about this topic. And while I'm somebody who's chatty and can talk, you know, ramble about a topic, it's so much better to prepare ahead of time and have, have like that mindset of like, okay, I know exactly what I'm talking about today. So what I mean by that is think about the themes of what you're going to be talking about even if you do it one month at a time, is better than last minute, which I used to do, okay? So, so if you can plan a month out, so say you have one Facebook Live per week, and what are the themes you're going to be focusing on in each one of those Facebook Lives? Now, underneath that theme, you can think about what are some main bullet points that you'll cover within that theme, and then as you get closer to the date, you can go over your notes and think about, okay, what's the story I can share, you know, things like that. So. So think about the themes and content ahead and make sure, make sure that the content you share, this is another golden nugget moment. The content that you share needs and gets to be congruent with what you offer. So instead of being too broad or too all over the place, think about what you are currently offering or what you will be offering down the road, you know? And if you don't know, then this is a chance to go back and really think about, okay, what is my offering? Is it a private coaching package? Is it a group program? Am I hosting a retreat? And what content am I going to be focusing on in that retreat? And then make sure that your content that you're sharing in this platform is congruent with that. So for example, throughout this whole journey of my May Marketing Bootcamp, I'm talking and speaking into my Create Connect offer system and breaking it down for you. Now I go much deeper into this in Powerhouse California as well as Powerhouse Mastermind. And so it's congruent with the things that I'm currently offering and in the future offering. So so for example, at Powerhouse California, you've heard me talk about it. It's a six week intensive program with a two day intensive retreat in California where we're gonna go much deeper into your marketing messaging, into your content creation and copywriting. So for those of you who have an email list and are creating content on platforms like this, we're gonna go deep into that. We're gonna talk about strategic marketing planning for the next six months. And we're also going to be talking about sales and handling sales objections, sales conversations. So, so knowing that, of course, the content that I'm sharing with you throughout this platform of the Marketing Bootcamp is congruent with that offering because then I know I'm representing not only myself and what I stand for, I'm also representing what I'm offering and how it can make a difference for you. Does that make sense? So think about what is it that you're offering and then reverse engineer and think, okay, what content can I share with the world that is congruent with that and plan ahead of time? And there's all sorts of ways, like the more I um, grow with my team, the more systems and the more improved systems we create in our behind the scenes in my business. So as one example, uh, to stay organized with the themes for this May Marketing Bootcamp because it's, you know, it's four weeks of content on a daily basis. So ahead of time, my team and I got together and we said, okay, let's create a calendar and then, and have just the base, the, the themes for each day. And then we created a shared Google Doc. And for those of you who are like super not tech savvy, you know, just don't be afraid. It's Google Doc is a, is, um, a way of sharing documents where you you can share them in live like there's uh how can i describe this you can all have access to the same document and you can all make updates and it saves as you go so it's like a working document and then you don't have to worry about where is it saved do i just did i save the most current one that kind of thing so it's really a nice way to use google docs and share it so 
my team and I have access to this one Google Doc that has the theme and then I add in the bullet points underneath the theme and then the night before I put more thought into, okay, tomorrow. so last night I was putting more thought into today's content. What stories can I share? What examples can I share? How should I break it down further? And then I'm prepared for the day. Does that make sense? So Google Doc is a really great tool if you haven't used it yet. Um, I know some of you may use Dropbox. I use Dropbox as well, but I'm becoming a super fan of Google Docs, so I, I invite you to check it out. Okay, so so okay, so you've selected a consistent date and time, number one. Number two is all about prepare, 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 your themes and your content. And then number three is to embed your offerings into your content. So notice I just did that with Powerhouse California. So I'm not coming onto Facebook Live saying, you should buy my product, right? I'm saying I'm going to give you generously content that you can use right away. And if you want to go further with me, here's what I have coming up. It's called Powerhouse California. And, or I may refer to a Powerhouse client like I did earlier. So if you can embed some examples of things you have coming up and embed examples of clients you have helped or even in your own personal journey, what you have done to get to where you are now, then that's giving people an idea of your credibility, about what you're able to do to help people, about what you yourself have overcome. So embed those offerings and embed your storytelling and testimonials that are aligned with it so people get a sense of who you are, who you help, and what you achieve, which that goes all the way back to the marketing mission statement. So do you see like the golden thread that takes you through all of it? So this is all about how to deeply connect with your audience and the different strategies. So remember the other day I shared with you all these like, I don't know, 20 different strategies and it's about picking your top two or three favorite ways and then becoming masterful at them and trusting the process. Okay, trusting the process. So, um, so yeah, so if you have any questions, go ahead and post it. Uh, and I'll also check and see what you've already posted. Okay. Okay. So giving little shout outs here. All right. Hi, Lahia. Hi, Vets. Hi, Shannon. Good morning. Hey, Kelly. Hi, Ashley. Uh, Kelly says shift and trust, trust yourself. Yeah. Shift and trust. When you can trust yourself, that is huge. That is huge. Okay. Uh, Ashley, she said, I launched my Fridays at five this week. This week is my third. Awesome. Good job, Ashley. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Jody. Hey, Sophia. Hey, Jess. Hi, Shanita. Okay. Yvette says, Yvette's confab starts Tuesday, May 22nd at 7 a.m. It'll be Tuesdays in the morning and Thursdays in the evening. We'll have a special Q&A segment. It's called Diva Dialogue. That's fantastic, Yvette. That's great. Um, okay. So let me know if you have any questions. Hey, Savannah. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. And a um, little side note, when you plan out your themes, think about how you can best promote your Facebook Lives. So for those of you who have an email list, send an email to your list promoting, pre-promoting what the theme is going to be. You can also choose if you want to send out replays. Um, you can also post on your Facebook business page, known as your Facebook page, excuse me, and uh, let them know what's coming up. If you have a Facebook group page or an Instagram account, you can promote it there. Obviously, many of you have other different platforms too. Just think about all the different ways where you can invite people to your party, you know, and that includes personally reaching out to people. So like I've said before, you can just jump onto Facebook Messenger in the evening and message a bunch of people. Remember, remember the number one mistake though that I mentioned yesterday. Don't just message someone you don't know and invite them because that's like just too salesy. Instead, create engagement, create a relationship. Now, if you already have a relationship, so if it's, if it's my powerhouse entrepreneurs community that I'm saying, hey, this is what I have coming up tomorrow, you should come, you know, because I already have that relationship. Or if there's colleagues in my own mastermind, I would say, hey, this is a topic that I know that some of you have been asking me about, so come to my Facebook Live. So I, I always know there's more I can be doing, so I do the best with what I have. So that's another thing to think about. Do the best of what you have in terms of inviting people and promoting what you have coming up, okay? Um, and also know that, I mean, I don't always have a huge fo like live, live following. Um, however, I get a lot on the replay and whenever I'm on enrollment calls or when I meet people in person, they're like, oh my gosh, I watch all, sorry, my, my dog's growling, FedEx truck. Um, I have a lot of people say to me, oh my gosh, I watched all of your replays or I watched all of your main marketing bootcamp and it's been super helpful. So yeah. Okay. Let's check here. Okay. 
Yeah, Jody, thanks for joining for the first time. Um, I've been going through this process, Jody, um, of sharing my Create Connect offer system through the month of May. So if you would like to carve out time and watch the replays, you can do that and um, and see like how I go through my system so that you can create your signature offerings, your marketing message. There's more to the create part of my segment. Now we're all about how to connect deeply, build a deep connection with your audience, both online and in person. And then next week I'll be going into offers. So how to make an offer with ease and flow, handling injections. It doesn't have to be all salesy and pushy and annoying, right? So, so Jody, thank you for joining. Okay. So, okay, Jody, what do you do to energize yourself before you go live? Oh, that's great. Um, well, I just, I love what I do. So there, there's that. Um, I also, you know, I, I think about like what I'm going to wear, hair and makeup. Like I, you know, I get ready. So that's part of it too. And then I sit down and I take a moment, you know, before I, before I go live, I take a moment and I, I, I think to myself, you know, and this is also before I jump onto enrollment calls or onto a group coaching call. I take a moment to myself, take a couple of deep breaths and I remind myself why I'm here. Like I'm here to make a difference first and foremost, beyond business, beyond marketing, beyond attracting clients, beyond generating revenue. First and foremost, I'm here to make a difference and to serve purpose-driven entrepreneurs such as yourself so that you can go out there and have what you need from me and I'm sure from others to do the work that you're meant to do in this world. So I like to make a difference for the difference makers, which is you, right? So I know you're passionate. My, my experience of most of the people I attract is that they're super passionate about what they do. They want to make a massive difference in the world. And where they get stuck is, is in the marketing and in the sales, you know, in their messaging and their words and messaging, how to connect with their ideal clients, how to call them forward. And then once they're on the phone with them, you know, they do all this work to drive traffic to them, how to really have that great, confident connection with them and walk them over the line so that you can help them to get to their vision. So I just believe that I'm a part of the ripple effect that can help create this great purpose in the world that you're up to. So I, that's, that's what I do. I center myself. And then I get excited of like, okay, here we go. We're going to do this, you know? So I, whether I'm going to speak on a Facebook live in front of an intimate group or eventually a larger group, or if I'm about to get on stage in front of hundreds, if not more people, I get psyched. I'm just like excited. Like, oh my gosh, this is happening. So it's the same energy. It's just in a different platform. So I hope that helps. Okay. Let's see here. That's. How often should you have a guest when you're first starting? I want to build tr their trust with me first, but I also have folks that would really benefit from hearing their information. Yeah, so um, Yvette, I mean, it's, it's totally up to you. I, I always, if, I'm, if I ever get to the point of like, I'm not sure what I should do, I, I, I deeply connect within and I think about what will make the biggest difference for my audience. So yes, I, I am the main person that will be on and I also know that there's other people that my audience needs to do the work that they want to do in the world. So, um, but to give you an idea, what I would do if you were wanting to have some guests come in, um, maybe you could do it like 75% you, 25% them, or 80% you, 20% them. Does that make sense? Okay. Shannon, IG is where my clients scope to preferably, so do Facebook Lives transfer over to IG? Okay, I know, Shannon, that there's a way to have like, your lives also shared on IG. In fact, I know, I bet Jess Jacobson is watching right now. She's a powerhouse entrepreneur and she's also the best at Instagram. So I could use some training on this myself. In fact, I think it'd be great to at some point have Jess join me on one of my Facebook lives. So I'm going to note to self and reach out to her. Um, so I know that my business mentor, when she goes live, live on Facebook, she's also doing something live on Instagram. So I'm not the expert on this, but, um, but if you haven't yet, Go ahead and friend request Jess Jacobson because she's amazing. Give me a little shout out to Jess Jacobson and uh, I'd be willing to bet that she has an answer for you. So I hope that helps. Um, okay, Diane. So the other thing too, I'm, I'm, I'm really doing my best to demonstrate like what I believe in. So if you don't like, if, for those of you, when you're doing Facebook lives, if somebody asks you a question like that, we're like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Like I have an idea, but I don't know. Like, remember, it's all about being in excellence and in integrity. I don't think I have to say that even to this group because I, I attract such amazing people. Um, just stand in your power to say, you know, that's not my area of expertise. And if you know someone, then be willing to recommend them, right? Because it's about making a difference. Diane Blair Morris. Hi, Diane. Uh, you did your first tip Facebook Live this AM. Love the idea. Uh, okay. 
necessary with what day and time. I'm going to schedule on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Eastern and work on monthly themes each month and prepare for, oh great, awesome. Yes. Okay, Jennifer, you said struggling with what my content will be. So Jennifer, think about how you love to make a difference for people. So, okay, I know, I, while I don't know all of what you do, and correct me if I'm wrong, my understanding is that you produce fashion shows that also are tied in with philanthropy, right? So is it, is it that you're a service-based business where you're the one pro- producing the event? Or do you teach other people how to produce these events? So I, I would need more information on that. Whichever it is, you can share what it is that you believe makes a difference for your ideal clients and then think about what themes would be congruent with that, okay? Um, Shanita, yes, you're welcome, you're welcome. Yeah, Shannon, Jess Jacobson, correct. Yes, 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 okay, awesome. So on that note, um, unless anyone has any last questions, um, that's really what I had prepared for today. Uh, if you are committed to or committed to cr- con- like continuing to do your Facebook lives, I'd love for you to post below like, yes, I'm committed. I'm starting this week. Like if you're, if you're truly going to do this, I'm telling you the sooner you do it, the better because the more time that goes by, the more like you'll push it off. I'm just speaking from my own experience and the experience of my clients. Like I know I should do it. I know I should do it. And I'm telling you, it'll get easier and easier and easier. Like I used to get all like okay, I'm about to go live. And now, even though there's excitement, it's, it's not like I'm freaking out about it anymore. I'm just like, I'm just going to trust myself. It's not about perfection, especially when you're live. Um, and you just get to be yourself. So, um, awesome. All right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. If this has been helpful for you, I invite you to click on the share button. Remember, we're all in this together. And when you click share, put a personal note of what you feel was helpful for you or if you say hey this is for all my entrepreneurial peeps you know something where together we can make a difference and uh, you never know who may see this particular video and hear something that'll make a difference for them so you know remember that one of the things that i have learned from my mentor and my community is like give to give you know so if you're coming to my daily facebook lives and you're getting a lot out of them remember it's not just about receiving it's about paying it forward that's why i make a big so it's not about me i mean yes it's it's great to expand my platform sincerely from the bottom of my heart if you believe that this has made a difference for you i invite you to click on the share button if you're willing and share it with others because we can make a bigger difference together and that way we're paying it forward okay so i'm giving you my best stuff in this may marketing boot camp because i'm so committed to helping you have a breakthrough whether or not you eventually become a client i'm not attached to that and like i've mentioned before if you are someone who's been on the fence considering powerhouse california There's only a few spots left, so if it's something that you've been considering or even curious about, then go ahead and either comment below and say, yes, I'm interested in Powerhouse California, or personally reach out to me, and at least we can have a conversation about it, or you can talk to somebody on my team. So absolutely no pressure. I'm just excited about coming together with this group of, uh, intimate group of entrepreneurs. We're having so much fun. And on that note, I'm wishing you all so much love, and tomorrow morning, we've got Jackie Cote, who is going to help you to deeply connect with your audience through the media, like she is the expert at this. So you've got a real treat coming. And then on Thursday, I will be back live from Florida. So I'll be on site and we'll connect, we'll continue to be focusing on the connect part of the Create Connect offer system. All right, sending you much love and I will be coming back on here later to answer some of your questions. So go ahead and keep the questions coming below in the comments and I will, um, I'll be answering them soon. Okay, sending you all love, bye.